hair had its ups and its downs in the 80s. At the beginning of the decade, short was definitely the fashion. It went with the androgynous look that ruled the runways of the fashion world. Women were wearing suits with square shoulders and short hair was as snappy and as strong as a silhouette. In 1984, at Bruno Le Salon, Bruno Dimitri designed the tomboy cut. He styled model Lisa Venta Wegner's shoulder length hair into a spiky cut to bring her look up to date and boost her career. Before long, however, models were letting their hair grow longer again and women across America followed. They seemed to have decided the androgynous look with short hair was too masculine. Long hair made them look and feel more feminine. As hair became longer, color became an important story. In fall 86, redheads were in. Models with red hair stole the limelight at the showings of the collections in Paris, Milan and London. And when they appeared, they seemed to give their outfits a look that was fresh and romantic. Red-haired models told me their careers were booming. Alison Frank was extremely positive. I started modeling eight years ago and I was one of the few, but really, I do shows now and there's five or six girls with red hair, natural redheads. It took a while for people to accept that. But after a while, all that hair seemed to get in the way. Designers complained that too much hair ruined the proportions of their silhouettes. They asked hairdressers to comb the hair up, to show the models necks and make their heads look smaller. In Paris in 1988, Roman, the creative director of the Paris Arles Salon, designed a high-style look for Claude Montana. He said it followed the curved silhouette of the spring collection. I made like a, a movement on the, on the side, you know, like one side going around like that on the back, and we keep a, hair, a piece of hair here, and we used to do a big, big wave like that, you know, who comes, leaves and stays like that, you know, really high. What was the inspiration for the curl at the side? A snake? No, a seashell. Roman forecast that short hair was on the way back, and he was right. This past spring, New York designers Bill Blast, Jeffrey Bean, and Calvin Klein all used models with short hair for their shows. They said short hair was modern, but the outfits they designed for the 90s needed a snappy, fresh look. New York hairdresser Eve Claude agreed. He cut Japanese model Hiroko Asaki's long hair to a bob. We broke joke just below chin, or touching the chin, really. That's the length we decided to go with, because that focused in on the face, and then go below the face. Why do you think that short hair is coming back? I think because the face is coming back. I think the hair is becoming just an accessory to the face. When I look at fashion now, I, I want to focus in on, a, on the individual rather than the whole look. That's where we're going to in the 90s. Calvin Klein has the last word. Everyone knows it's short hair, and, and that's what all, you know, most of the girls have cut their hair short. But one of the girls, Linda Evangelista, who was one of the first to do it, uh, is letting her hair grow out. I think something else is going to happen with hair. Right now, it's still short, but I think we're going to see it move to, to longer, but above the shoulder. And that's the story on hair for the 1980s. And now a story that shows some of the most beautiful women in the world wearing some of the briefest swimsuits of the decade. For most of the 80s, the Italians were the only ready-to-wear designers who showed swimsuits in their spring collections. The suits were glamorous, bare and sexy, and they gave the shows a swinging, upbeat mood. But this year, designers in Tokyo, Paris, London and New York caught onto the act. Their suits are as good-looking as the Italians, and they're also mostly one piece. In New York, Carolyn Rome, who's known for her high-style fashions, did suits for the first time. She edges them in gold and adds transparent cover-ups to make them as glamorous as her evening dresses. Isaac Mizrahi takes a fresh approach to the swimsuit. The dress comes off and the jacket comes off and suddenly you're in like white panties that are chlorine proof and you're jumping in the water, you know, in Hollywood or wherever they have fabulous pools in America. In Paris, Christian Lacroix shows he's as innovative and versatile with swimsuits as he is with haute couture. It's not a license, it's just uh, some pieces in the line. They are more covered than usual, a lot of one piece and uh, printed or with uh, flashy colors. Do you like to wear this? Oh, yes. Like uh, uh, accessories. In his collection for Chanel, Karl Lagerfeld offers a group of black and white suits. He trims them with camellias and long strands of pearls. He tells me they're part of the Chanel philosophy for the 90s. Now, you know, the 80s are over. I want the 90s now. And I must tell you, I like 
in a way even better the change in fashion what's going on the new girls the whole atmosphere i think the 80s will be very exciting it's up to me to find a way to do chanel for the 90s in london stevie stewart and david harler have been experimenting with swimsuits for some time in their body map collections the spring they've done a whole group the swimsuits are sort of Bauhaus 30s style cut in bicolored, black and white, black and green. You like one or two pieces? At the moment we're showing mostly one, with legs. <laughs> so they really are 30s? Yeah, very. The Italians were abreast of the world with their swimwear collections. Rosita Massoni likes one-piece suits or high-waisted two-piece suits. And the back is always very bare. We have either very uh, bright colors like orange, uh, coral red, uh, shocking pink, or black or gray. They're quite strong. Yeah. At Biblos, Keith Barty and Alan Cleaver dress up their swimsuits with embroidery. And so they're quite rich looking, um, quite simple shapes, but it's the embroidery that makes them ours and stand out. One or two piece? Mostly one piece. They are two pieces, they're very chunky, sort of high high sides and, you know, more, not weeny little things. Uh, just lots of lovely square necks as well. Gianni Versace does black swimsuits and covers them with huge black bathrobes. Who too prefers a one-piece to a bikini? I think it's more elegant. Why well, I think women can, can take sun naked, I think. I adore women naked of Texana. But when they move, I like a pareo over or, or one piece. I think it's more elegant. That's the look in designer swimwear as we take the plunge into the 90s. When we come back, I'll show you some of the animal prints that stampeded fashion in the 80s. They're all from Africa. Ocelot, tiger, leopard, zebra, and giraffe. Designers have used them from everything from cuddly fake fur coats to floating chiffon ball gowns. These days, animal prints seem almost ready to join plaids and stripes as classics. Stay with us. <laughs> 